forms the foundation of health. By now, you might be wondering how a cave forms. Well, to learn that, we have to take another trip back in time. But instead of human time, we need to go back in geologic time. Why? Because cave formation takes time, lots and lots of time, and <coughs> H2O. Yep, water. If you went back in time 500 million years, you would be floating in a warm, shallow sea that covered most of North America. That sea was teeming with life. For example, the giant cephalopod is a distant ancestor of today's squid. These creatures carried massive shells that were either straight or coiled. Cephalopods ruled the shallow waters, prowling for smaller animals like the trilobite. Trilobites made their homes scuttling across the sandy bottom. This giant arthropod, or bug, is Wisconsin's state fossil. These and a host of other creatures inhabited this ancient coral reef. Over time, the discarded shells of millions of these sea creatures built up layers and layers of limestone. <coughs> that limestone is made up of the fossil remains of all those ancient sea creatures. If you look closely on your cave tour today, you might even see our giant cephalopod fossil. It's more than six feet long. So, that's how the limestone rock formed. But how did this large hole form in the rock? Well, the simple explanation is this. Rainwater, or melting snow, combined with carbon dioxide to make an acid that trickled down through cracks in the limestone, creating small cavities. Because of lead and other mineral deposits deep underground, powerful sulfuric acid formed. This acid bubbled up through the rock, enlarging the cavities <coughs> further. Next, underground streams entered, washing away sediments, until finally a large cavern formed. Today, you will see the geologic process continue. Year after year, day after day, water drips into the cave bringing with it dissolved crystals of limestone called calcite. As these tiny particles fuse together, they form intricate and varied shapes. These are speleothems, slender, hollow stalactites hang from the ceiling, while sturdy-looking stalagmites form statues on the floor. Speleothems come in many shapes and colors. It can take a long time, more than 100 years, for a single formation to grow one inch. Cave of the Mounds is one of Wisconsin's most unique experiences. The cave is considered one of the most beautiful caves in the upper Midwest and is commonly referred to as the jewel box of America's major caves for its variety and delicacy of formations. If you were to describe your environment, like what you have down here in this cave, you know, you don't realize that when you're in there, how weird it is. And the natural environment is total darkness, you know, and that the, and the, the geology, you've got just so much you can learn, you know, not just about the cave itself, but about how Wisconsin has changed over time. A tour of Cave of the Mounds is one of Wisconsin's most unique and authentic experiences. In fact, the United States Department of the Interior and the National Park Service have distinguished Cave of the Mounds as a national natural landmark because it is and it makes me realize that the, the world is filled with amazing things. And many of those things are closer than you think. And you might just, you know, there can be amazing things just around the corner, 100 feet away, 100 feet below ground. You know, there are all sorts of surprises out there. And you never know where, you know, you, as is the, uh, the nature of surprises, you're not sure where they're at or where they come up. But they're out there. And this cave is one of them. Remember the caver's motto. Take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, till nothing but time. The Cave of the Mounds offers so much more than just a cave tour. While on these park grounds, enjoy a picnic, stroll through our prairie, savanna, butterfly and rock gardens, or hike our nature trails and witness the beauty of southwest Wisconsin both above and below ground. It is our responsibility to protect and conserve the cave this fragile environment. So whether you're a curious tourist or a budding cave enthusiast,
enthusiasts. Today you're going to be learning firsthand why Cave in the Mountains is truly a living underground adventure with a surprise around every corner. Enjoy your tour.